The American Public Power Association is pleased to present the winners of its 2016 annual awards. The James D. Donovan Individual Achievement Award recognizes individuals who have made significant contributions to the electric utility industry and to public power. There are three winners this year. Bill Carnahan has spent the last 50 years of his career serving public power on the local, regional, and national levels before joining the Southern California Public Power Authority, where he is now the executive director. Bill led public power utilities in Riverside, California, and Fort Collins, Colorado. An active member of APPA for more than four decades, he was elected to APPA's board in 1976 and served as board chair in 1986. Bill has had leadership roles with state and regional groups, including the California Independent System Operators Board of Governors and the Platte River Power Authority. Dwayne Dahlquist has been the general manager of the Blue Ridge Power Agency since 1996. He has invested his career in defending the interests of Blue Ridge member utilities for decades. From lobbying in Washington to endless travel to trade association and vendor meetings and client engagements. He has also supported joint action between Virginia utilities and joint participation in economic resources with members of American Municipal Power. Duane has worked closely with APPA for 30 years, serving on its board of directors from 2002 to 2007. Nicholas Guariello has spent more than 46 years in the utility industry and has been at his current general manager and CEO post at Florida Municipal Power Agency since 2008. He is a stalwart supporter of APPA and public power. He serves on the CEO Climate Change and Generation Policy Task Force and the Cyber and Physical Preparedness Working Group. He played a key role in forming FMPA and has served municipal utilities as project manager for power supply studies, bond financings, expert testimony, contractual analyses, and negotiations. The Larry Hobart Seven Hats Award recognizes managers of small utilities serving fewer than 2,500 meters. These managers have a very small staff and must assume multiple roles. The seven hats they must wear are planning and design, administration, public relations, field supervision, accounting, human resources, and community leadership. There are five winners in 2016. Charles Christensen has been the general manager at Cumberland Municipal Electric and Water Utility in Wisconsin since 1979. Charles started the utility's first website and created an online billing statement and payment option for customers. Charles was also responsible for moving the utility's accounting system from hand ledger cards to punch cards, and then eventually to its first computer system. He helped write the computer billing program and migrated the entire utility to PC systems with new software. He has hired all of the utility's employees since 1979. He was named the Cumberland Citizen of the Year in 2010. Jim Greff is the city manager of Prague, Oklahoma. He recently oversaw the implementation of smart meters for electric and water across Prague's entire system. He also serves on the board of directors for the Oklahoma Municipal Power Authority. Thanks to Jim, Prague was one of the first OMPA members to adopt a ceiling insulation rebate program. He has helped the city to biannually become certified in OMPA's competitive utility program, which includes a reward of $20,000. Jim has worked to formulate a responsible electric rate for his utility while continuing to provide Prague's customers with the service that comes from having a locally owned utility. Robert Johnston plays many roles as city manager of Frederick, Oklahoma, a city of less than 4,000 residents. He led efforts to convince voters to approve sales tax measures to benefit the city, including a recent measure that funded improvements to the water and wastewater systems, freeing up electric revenues for distribution system improvements. When there's a utility problem, Robert is often out with the crews, providing direction and assistance. He has helped the city plan for emergencies, adding backup generators to the city water system. He serves on the Oklahoma Municipal Power Authority Board of Directors, and in 2013 was inducted into the Oklahoma Hall of Fame for city and town officials. Rex Katterheinrich has been actively involved as both village administrator and a licensed engineer in various New Knoxville municipal electric projects, including the expansion of the New Knoxville Community Park. His areas of responsibility include the Ohio Utilities Electric System, Water, Wastewater, Public Works, and Financial Operations. He coordinates applications to the Ohio Public Works Grant Program and has secured support for many beneficial projects in the community. With nearly 30 years of experience with municipal electric systems, Rex brings a wealth of knowledge to ensure the reliability of the distribution system. Jeremy Redd, City Administrator for Blanding City, Utah, also serves as the Public Information Officer for the City, as well as the electric system. 
He administers the city's website and has created a community e-newsletter to inform citizens about the importance of public power to the community. Jeremy is also in charge of budgeting for the electrical system, including a 10-year capital improvement plan to fund major system upgrades. He's responsible for long-term power supply planning and has pushed for the addition of more carbon-free options. Jeremy represents Blanding City on the Utah Associated Municipal Power Systems Board. The Harold Kramer John Preston Personal Service Award recognizes individuals for their service to the American Public Power Association. There are two winners in 2016. Robert Johnston retired from MEAC Power in 2015 after 17 years as President and CEO. He served on the APPA board from 2007 to 2013 and was elected chairman of the Large Public Power Council in 2008. Throughout his time in the industry, Robert has joined with other public power entities to defend the tenets of the customer choice rule to protect local utilities as energy providers for business customers. He garnered support for the construction and financing of the first new emissions-free nuclear units in the country in more than 30 years. His skill in articulating industry positions before regulatory bodies has helped to produce favorable outcomes for public power. Michelle Palmer came to American Municipal Power in Ohio in 1999 as a transmission and distribution engineer. She became vice president in January 2016. Michelle has been a vocal advocate of APPA programs. She is AMP's principal contact for APPA's R&D program, DEED, and has supported AMP members in applying for DEED grants and scholarships. Michelle is a regular attendee at the APPA Engineering and Operations Technical Conference and has presented at several sessions. Since 2006, Michelle has coordinated a technical services conference for AMP members. The Robert E. Roundtree Rising Star Award is a scholarship presented to future leaders in public power. The recipient receives a stipend to travel to an APPA conference or training program to advance their education and development in public power. Brian O'Connell has served as Utilities Director at Bowling Green Municipal Utilities in Ohio since 2011. He has a passion for public power issues at the state and federal level and regularly attends the APPA National Conference and Legislative Rally. Brian represents Bowling Green and 14 other municipal electric systems on the American Municipal Power Board of Trustees. Under Brian's leadership, Bowling Green is on track to achieve a balanced portfolio that is responsible, sustainable, and about 37% renewable. Bowling Green's rates remain competitive with the local investor-owned utility and the system has a strong credit rating from AMP. The Mark Croissant Leadership and Managerial Excellence Award recognizes managers at a utility, joint action agency, or state or regional association who steer their organizations to new levels of excellence, lead by example, and inspire staff to do better. This year's winner is Olin Clausen. Olin has spent his time as utility director for Lawrenceburg Municipal Utilities in Indiana, seeking to support the capabilities of every one of his employees. Olin provides all employees with training opportunities and seminars to help grow and expand their knowledge and skills. As a result of Olin's work, the utility has a positive work environment. Staff have been able to accomplish more in less time, have met the utility's goals, and work together to set higher goals for the future. Olin has also organized customer appreciation days and customer giveaways that allow for better customer interaction. The EF Scattergood System Achievement Award honors utilities with outstanding accomplishments. There are three winners in 2016. Cedar Falls Utilities in Iowa has committed to adding cost-effective renewable energy to its generation portfolio. The community's first solar farm is under construction. Cedar Falls has also launched a new app to allow customers to use their smartphones to report service outages and receive status updates. The utility has significantly reduced outages with undergrounding initiatives, implementation of AMI infrastructure, distribution system automation, and new substation construction. In 2015, President Obama recognized the utility as a national model for excellent broadband services that enabled economic growth. JEA in Jacksonville, Florida has made it a priority to find solutions that benefit both customers and the larger community. In 2015 alone, JEA reduced sustained outages by 70% and created communications plans to keep customers informed during outages. The utility awarded more than $850,000 in rebates to local businesses that invested in energy efficiency improvements. Despite increases in the cost of doing business and decreases in electric usage, JEA's annual spending has remained stable for three years. The utility was also recognized by J.D. Power for being in the top quartile for business customer satisfaction. Kissimmee Utility Authority in Florida boasts a diverse range of accomplishments. 
In 2015, the utility was recognized with APPA's RP3 designation for reliability, safety, workforce development, and system improvement. KUA is committed to supporting employee development. Since 2012, 50 employees have graduated from the state of Florida's Certified Public Manager program. In 2016, the utility approved a new $17.2 million electric substation to power downtown Kissimmee and the business district. KUA is a steadfast supporter of mutual aid and often sends line workers to other utilities to help with power restoration. The utility also protects reliability by planning for physical and cyber security. The Community Service Award recognizes utilities for their good neighbor activities that demonstrate their commitment to the local community. Three utilities are receiving this award in 2016. CDE Light Band in Clarksville, Tennessee supports youth education in its community. In the past year, employees created a mobile classroom to teach children about electricity, distribution, and safety, and worked with local schools to provide access. Clarksville's rapid growth, military population, state university, nationally recognized public school system, and small town values create a unique opportunity for the utility to educate children and adults about the importance of reliable power and broadband for economic development. CDE also supports local charities and nonprofits with donations and volunteer work. Hudson Public Power in Ohio has provided value to the community through a variety of projects, including a recycling program that targets local schools and promotes environmentally friendly habits. The Get Caught Green Handed program, created by Hudson employees, aims to significantly reduce the amount of trash sent to area landfills to protect drinking water and reduce resources used in manufacturing processes. In a single year, the city saved nearly 250,000 pounds of material from entering the landfill. The utility also participates in the community's Safety Town Initiative, which teaches basic street safety skills to children entering kindergarten. Kansas City Board of Public Utilities in Kansas invests in community. BPU has demonstrated its dedication through a mix of donations, volunteer work, environmental advocacy, and civic leadership. The utility provides grants to local nonprofits that enable them to employ, mentor, and train at-risk youth. BPU employees volunteer hundreds of staff hours of their own time on utility community initiatives. Utility staff also conducts workshops on energy efficiency and has created a comprehensive social responsibility program to promote environmental stewardship in the community. The American Public Power Association's research program, Demonstration of Energy and Efficiency Developments, nurtures innovation in public power. Each year, the DEED program recognizes innovative utility projects with the Energy Innovator Award. There are four winners this year. In San Antonio, Texas, CPS Energy's Simply Solar program offers options for every customer interested in solar power, regardless of socioeconomic or roof ownership status. Simply Solar relies on a purchase power agreement to finance the installation of PV, allowing CPS Energy to recover its fixed and variable costs. The program was popular with low-income customers, as well as local government, school districts, hospitals, and nonprofits. Independence Power & Light in Missouri developed its Home Energy Loan Program to help homeowners access funds to make energy efficiency improvements to their homes. The city has a large population of retirees and blue-collar workers who are homeowners but may not have the resources to make energy efficiency improvements. The improvements funded by the utility will result in substantial savings for customers over time. Moorhead Public Service in Minnesota developed its Capture the Sun Community Solar Garden after it identified that many homeowners who like having some of their energy needs met through solar do not have good resources at their location. MPS created a community solar garden, a collection of solar PV modules at a suitable site. Customers can participate and buy a share of the energy generated. The value of the energy generated by the solar PV panels is prorated annually in the form of bill credits to participating customers. New York Power Authority's new 15 megawatt microgrid includes a new combined heat and power plant located at the Rikers Island Correctional Facility in Queens. The plant can cover the majority of the steam load of the island throughout the year and replaces the older, inefficient boiler plant that served the island. The project reduces greenhouse gas emissions by 22,000 tons a year by displacing generation from centralized power plants. Rikers can run independently of the grid and has the electricity and steam to operate in the event of a grid blackout. Nine individuals have completed the APPA Academy's Public Power Manager Certificate Program. 
To earn this certificate, participants must complete three required courses and develop a plan that identifies and addresses an issue, challenge, or opportunity within his or her organization. The 2016 graduates are Brett Carroll, Chief Financial Officer, Conway Corporation, Arkansas. Marcy Douglas, Energy Services Field Representative, Missouri River Energy Services, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Andrew Ferris, Director of Electric Supply Planning, Kansas City Board of Public Utilities, Kansas. Lisa Fisher, Energy Services Field Representative, Missouri River Energy Services, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. Beth Fondell, Director of Financial and Administrative Services, Owatonna Public Utilities, Minnesota. Jeff Hlavik, Supervisor of T&D Design, Lincoln Electric System, Nebraska. Jody Martin, Senior Accounting Analyst, Chelan County PUD, Wenatchee, Washington. Christopher Paget, Chief Administrative Officer, Greenville Utilities Commission, North Carolina. And Christopher White, Technology Resources Director, Thomasville Utilities, Georgia. Two individuals have completed the APPA Academy's Public Power Governance Certificate Program. To earn this certificate, participants must complete coursework and an exam on board and city council duties and responsibilities, performance monitoring, and strategic planning. The 2016 graduates are Eric Booth, Manager of Utility Planning and Compliance, Marquette Board of Light and Power, Michigan, and Richard Stone, Board Member, Murfreesboro Electric Department, Tennessee. And finally, the Alex Radin Distinguished Service Award is the highest award granted by the American Public Power Association. The award recognizes exceptional leadership and dedication to public power. This year's award goes to Gary Stauffer. Gary has spent the last 12 years at NMPP Energy in Nebraska and over 40 years in the energy and primary metals industries. He retired from NMPP in 2015. Under Gary's leadership, NMPP Energy underwent many changes in various sectors, an annual customer support plan, new utility software, and a new risk management and compliance department were established to address the changing wholesale electric environment. A natural gas supply contract was redesigned to reduce market risk. Gary was on the APPA board for eight years and served as chair from 2013 to 2014. He is past president of the Nebraska Power Association. Gary continues to work with public power utilities as an executive consultant for Hometown Connections. Gary believes that local control is still the best model to supply citizens with energy, and he continues to have a passion to serve the public. Congratulations to Gary and all our 2016 award recipients.